So today is September 10, 2021. But you can see here, I have the PlayStation 5 controller, the Xbox Series X controller, Xbox 360 that I was able to find a brand new one in a box. We're gonna be setting this up for the first time in 2021. Let's get the battery in. We've got the positive as well as the negative. Push the button. Let's peel this off. Of course, the Xbox 360 has a power brick. Thankfully, the Xbox Series X does not. Let's push the power button for the first time. Well, touch it technically, because this has the touch sensitive buttons. There we go, look at that, Xbox 360. So let's get this set up. I did forget that my monitor does not have built-in speakers. So I forgot to plug in the speaker that connects to the monitor. So I have that plugged in right now and we're gonna just push the button, press A, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna hit English. Before you can play, there are a few things to set up, console settings, network, and Xbox Live. We're gonna hit continue. Let's start with your console. Your console settings include local, display settings, auto off, console safety. Let's hit continue. I don't remember any of these. So we're gonna go with Canada. There we go. Your display is currently set to 1080p. Do you want to change it now? Yes. Well, it is 1080p, so let's just hit that. I don't know what I just did, I should have read. Anyway, console safety helps you safeguard your family with rating controls and family timer. Turn it off to bypass all controls. We're gonna just, you know, do that. Oh, look at that. We got balloons and all that. Console settings are done. Let's hit done. Xbox Live is your connection to a world of entertainment on Xbox 360. Connect for free to get online. You'll need to set up internet connection, Xbox Live profile. Let's hit continue. Connect to Xbox Live for free. All you need is an internet connection. Just connect with an internet cable or wireless. It's secure and easy. We're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi real quick. So we can go with wired network or scanning for the Wi-Fi. Connect to my Wi-Fi here. We're gonna hit continue. Type in my password. Just hit done. An update may be required to connect to Xbox Live and test your connection. Let's hit continue. So it's testing the network connection. Pretty cool how nice the Xbox 360 interface was, even like in 2021, it looks amazing. Update required, the system update is available from Xbox Live, so we're gonna hit yes, because we need all of the latest updates to catch up to 2021. That's pretty quick of a download for sure. I don't think I had a fast internet like this back in the day when I was using an Xbox 360. I'll put this here so we can kind of see how it's all going. So it looks like it's restarting the Xbox. A system update is available for this game. Do you want to apply the update now? Let's hit the, okay, why not? Let's hit yes. Please do not turn off or unplug your console while it's updating. I'm gonna try to put the Xbox on these still books just so it's nicely up there. Nice, probably need more. I don't think I have more steelbooks. I think this should be better. Hopefully it will support it. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. That's a bit too high. Probably I should take one more game out. There we go. Look at that. Okay, much better. I love how it's touch sensitive, but if I do remember correctly, I had so many times where I would accidentally eject the game while I was playing the game. But overall, like this was my favorite Xbox 360 design. I mean, they came out with the Xbox 360 E back when the Xbox One came out, I think, or before that, which looked more like an Xbox One. I did do an unboxing on that, but still to date, my favorite is this design. I think the glossy finish looks amazing of this design. However, for the long term of having this Xbox 360, I do like the matte finish more because it's just not gonna have all those fingerprints and scratches and things like that. All right, so we're ready to go. Thanks for choosing Xbox 360, have fun. So we have an option to join Xbox Live or go play. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with go play because I really want to get into the dashboard real quick to 
see how it is. And here we are in the home screen. Wow, that's that's pretty nice. Look at that. So we can uh, go over to social and then see our friends and activity feed, avatar store, sign in or sign out. So haven't signed in yet, but you can also use these uh, to move around. Hey, look at that. We have Minecraft story mode, my games, add-ons, browse games, demos, and search games. A to Z, Forza Horizon 2. I remember my Xbox 360e console came with the Forza Horizon 2. Movies and TV, my apps. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. So we can also go to the system settings here. And unfortunately, this is a four gigabyte unit. So we're about to find out how it is once I plug in a memory stick to it. So we can have cloud save games and things like that. But yeah, four gigabyte, we only have 1.3 gigabytes. Uh, left. Oh, what are these? So if I go over to games, we can see my games. Okay, so we have all games. Looks like there's some uh, games that are inside of the Xbox 360 already, I think. Looks like it came with a preloaded game here that we can play. All right, so we'll go to the Xbox home. Let's hit yes. This is the moment I was waiting for. We have Xbox 360 version of GTA 5. Of course, that comes with two discs, not one. So we have the play disc, which is this one. And then we have the install disc, which is this one over here. Let's uh, put this in. So it's going to start to install. Please select storage device for install data. On the back of the game, it does say that it requires eight gigabytes to play. So I'm gonna just plug in a flash drive and see what happens. Found this 32 gigabyte, the Kingston flash drive. So let's see how this is. Gonna hit okay. We have an unformatted drive, so let's click on it. This will delete all content on this device. Do you want to continue? Yes. So make sure if you do do this and nothing's imported in that flash drive that you don't want to delete. This will end your session. If you are playing a game, you lose any unsaved progress. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. Okay, we'll go here and click format. Yes. And hopefully this works because I want to play GTA 5 on the Xbox 360. I think it worked. Hit play game. Now we can install it, I'm assuming, into that flash drive. Please select storage device for install. Let's hit OK. And we're going to select this USB storage device. Let's hit OK. And I think it worked. Xbox 360, sure, I think is an amazing console to get even in 2021. Like, look at that. Being able to buy this game for like $5, you can get so many nice games for the Xbox 360 now in 2021. That's like super affordable and many titles that I've never played. You can get them for a much affordable price, which is uh, which is pretty nice. If I move the Xbox out of the way, you can see it is currently installing. But the graphics so far looks amazing on this Xbox 360. So this is a couple days later after I was able to track down another copy of GTA 5. Did I tell you what I did? No, you did not. Okay, you know how I put the Xbox on top of those discs? I ended up moving it while there was the disc in it installing it so i destroyed the installation disc on gta 5 because i moved the xbox <laughs> now we're gonna go buy another copy of gta 5 because of my dumbass yep stupid it clearly said on the xbox now to move it like it literally says on it and i still didn't rip off the sticker and i still failed to read what it said i hope the game is in good shape did you get it yep they did not move their Xbox whenever this game was in it. So you can see the disc is in a uh, brand new kind of shape, I guess. It's better than what mine looks like right now. Just got home. Let's uh, put this on. So we have the install disc. And right here it says, do not move console with disc in tray. And I did that. And this is what happened to that install disc because I moved the Xbox. So if you remember, it was vertical and I just turned it into this. So we got the alert, please insert disc two. Loading story mode, confirm, install complete. So here I am inside of the GTA 5 on the Xbox 360 and we're about to go, oh, oh. Not that part, but 
This car is going to end up in much worse condition. I mean, I love playing Grand Theft Auto V on the Xbox 360. So we're going to go... One second. We're going to do that. Let's speed that up. Okay, I think we're doing perfect. Are we just done? Okay, I think it's all working. I think it's working. Oh, yes. All right, so we're going to just uh, go as fast as possible onto the runway and probably get hit by a plane. Nope, no plane, no plane. Oh, there's the plane. There is the plane. It's probably going to take off. It hit us barely. All right, so we're going to go back to the airport. First, we're going to need a car. So we'll take this nice SUV and off I go. That was smooth. Hey, where are you going? Oh, oh, wow. I like it. Wonder if the convertible top is going to work after getting hit by a plane. There's the plane. And we got hit. We, oh. Oh, wow. This is a pretty strong car. I think it can take another hit. We're having some difficulties. Uh, we lost the bumper. Let's go back there. Stop hitting my car. We're literally slower than a bus. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this is real bad. <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh oh. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta run. These cop cars are out of their mind for sure. They think we can stop this plane. Okay, what happened? I don't even know. How is this car not getting damaged? We're gonna make this stunt. We're making this stunt. Not at all. This is a pretty strong car, if I'm honest. Oh boy. Oops. Let's take this plane. Here we go. Oh my god, this is a gigantic plane. I think we got this. All I have to do... Uh, what did I hit? That's about it, guys. There it is. We just played GTA 5 on the Xbox 360. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.